Hi you guys, today I'm doing my back to school haul and that includes my um, supplies and clothes and just any beauty items that I got. Um, so pretty much everything. I didn't buy a lot of supplies just because I had a lot left over from last year and I'll probably just go back if my teachers want something specifically. And I didn't get a lot of clothes either just because I didn't find a lot of things that I liked um, when I went shopping but I have a lot of jewelry and random stuff um, and also I have two things that I ordered yesterday from Urban Outfitters online and I don't know when I'm going to be getting them but if I wear them on the first day of school you'll see them in my outfit of the day but if I don't I'll show you guys or I may return them because if I don't wear them on the first day that's probably because I didn't like it but um, I'm just going to get into it so first I'll start off with my boring stuff and that's from Walmart so I got a lot of gum and I put them in these um, Ziploc bags because I've been leaving them in my room and I don't want any bugs. So I just have like Orbit, Extra, Stride, Carefree, and Trident. I got these um, like bra strap thingies so like you can hide your bra straps. And I think these are from the dollar store, not Walmart. Then for dance practice I just got me some extra black pants or shorts and it says let's focus on me and it's the happy bunny he's so cute and I got another pair but they're probably in the dirty clothes and the only supplies I got were pens so I got the sharpie ones and these are the fine fine ones and I got um big big pens and lastly I got a lint rollerball because when I do my hair when my clothes are on sometimes like my hair gets all over my clothes so next I'll do my bigger things. I have two bags from PacSun and I can't even get it in the shot. I only got two things from there. They're just big. That's why they're big bags. So the first thing I got from there was my book bag and it's a Jan Sport book bag and it's just a light pretty blue color and I really wanted that. It cost $35. The next thing I got from PacSun was these pair of wedges which I thought were so cute. And they remind me of the Jeffrey Campbell 99 tie ones um, that are that are suede too, and they're $150, so I didn't want to buy them like right now. But these are only $42.50, and I'm a size nine. If you were wondering, I just thought they were cute, and they would hold me over until I buy my Jeffrey Campbell ones. The next thing I got from Target, and it's a new lunchbox. Um, I don't have the Target bag, but this is what I got. It's by the brand Rachel Ray. And it cost um, $12.99. Next, I'm going to move on to Charlotte Rouge. I used to say Charlotte Rouge, but people say it's Charlotte Rouge, so I don't know. And I only got one thing from there. And it is this bright pink bodycon skirt, which I thought was absolutely adorable. And it was originally $23.99, I mean $22.99, but I got it on sale for $15, which was good, and I got a medium. Then I'll move on to Urban Outfitters, which is my absolute favorite store ever. And I didn't get any clothes, I planned on it, um, but they didn't have what I wanted there, so I ordered it online. Hopefully I like it, and I'll wear it on the first day. Um, but I just got four things from here. First, I got these awesome sunglasses, and like the sides and the top are tortoise shell print, and then the bottom is like this teal looking color, and I just thought they were really cool. <laughs> I really like them. I just want a new pair of sunglasses, and they work for like when I'm at dance practice, and sometimes we practice outside on the field um, with the band, and... Like the sun is like beaming in your eyes and these don't come off and I like move and stuff. So that's good. And they were $14. Then I got a new wallet. Which looks like this. It says gray but I think it's a taupe color. Um, and I um, was going to invest in a Michael Kors wallet but I didn't think it was really worth it. I just, this is a really nice sturdy wallet and I like it. And so it just has... Like a place where you can put money right here, then you can put four cards, and yeah, I guess you can put money right here too, and then a zipper part for like change, and then another part where you can put money. 
And I just thought it, it was a really nice, cool design. And this was $20. The next thing I got from Urban Outfitters was this contact case. And like when you go to get the, to like the eye doctor and take a little eye doctor test, um, it says, it has like the letters like this, but it says, I am a contact case one, which I thought was cute. And it's just this like tribal looking print to me. And it's orange and pink and white. And then it opens up and it has a mirror right here. And it has like a little contact case contact case part and um, I don't wear contacts yet but I planned on getting them before school started and I didn't but hopefully I'll get them soon and the last thing I got from Urban Outfitters oh that was eight dollars by the way um, and the last thing I got from Urban Outfitters was this like studded bracelet and it's stretchy and it was fourteen dollars I just thought it was cute it's a silver one and um, if you just go online, I know this is online if you wanted to buy it, so just put in bracelets and just go scroll through all the bra bracelets on UrbanOutfitters.com and you'll be able to find it. They have a gold one too. And I don't know if I said the last thing, the bracelet was $14, I don't know if I said that. But anyway, I forgot to say I'm sorry for if I look like this. I barely have any makeup on, I only put concealer and powder because I'm about to go to dance practice in like an hour. Um, so yeah, and then I just had like a tank top one, sorry. <laughs> I don't think you guys would mind. So next, I'm going to go to H&M. So here's my little H&M bag. It's a pitiful bag, it's so small. Um, first thing I got were these earrings. And it's by the brand, it says Divided by H&M, so it's an H&M brand. And it's like spiky ones, triangle, like pyramid spiky ones, balls, then like the same kind of design right here but just bigger and silver and then like these cool awesome ones and the ones in the middle I will probably never wear I don't wear like hoop stuff like that anymore I used to wear like huge hoops and stuff but I don't I only wear studs now and oh my gosh that was $5.95 and then I only got one more thing and it was this freaking awesome shirt which was $4.95 and I'm a size um, 6 in the US and 36 in Europe and this is the smallest size they had. It's kind of big. But it's a beetle shirt. I thought this was so freaking awesome. It looks big, but it'll be... I tried it on, and it's not that bad. It's, like, just a little loose. So, next I'm going to move on to American Eagle. And this is, like, the last place that I got, like, a ton of stuff from. The other two places were, like, I got free stuff because I had, like, coupons. And then reward rewards points and then Sephora wow I totally just did a spoiler alert. spoiler alert anyway so I went to American Eagle two different times and the last time when I went to Urban Outfitters um, then I went to American Eagle and I just got this belt and it's like a coral a light coral or peachy pink I don't know what you want to call it and just a skinny belt and I wanted one for the thing that I ordered from Urban Outfitters. Um, and this is extra small. And it still has gold detailing. But it's still too big. I have to put like more holes in it myself, I guess. Because it doesn't it doesn't work. And this was $19.50. Then I got this headband, which is really cool. I like it. It's braided and it's like this cream white cream probably yeah more like a cream color and it was $17.50 then I got a lot of jewelry so I'm gonna show all of it if you can't see it I will probably just take a picture of it and insert it but um I got this bracelet and it, the little balls that are in it remind me of like disco balls um but yeah I just thought it was really cute it looks like this And then I have, I got these, oh wait, I keep forgetting to tell you guys the prices. That was $15.50, and then these rings, it's one, two, three, four, five of them, and it's like two of them are copper and three of them are silver, and they have like, the silver ones have copper um, rhinestones in them, and the copper ones have silver rhinestones in them, and the one in the middle has like a heart hanging off of it, I don't think you can see it with like the light reflecting on it. You may be able to. Um, and this was $15.50. Then I got another ring set. And it has two rings. Um, one at the bottom. And the one at the top says Kiss Me in Cursive. Which you may not be able to see. I'm sorry. It's 12 dollars 
Then I got um, this bracelet set. And the pink one says dream in like whatever these, what would you call, what would you call these, um, beads, these square beads, yeah. And the last one has like little rhinestones in it. And the blue one ha says love. And this cost $17.50. And the last jewelry item I bought was a set of bracelets and it was $19.50. And it just has like, let's see. This yellow one with like a disco ball looking thing on it. Um, this complicated looking one. It has a little heart on it. Um, this white one which I think is really nice. With beads. This one which I really like and it has like a button right here. It says A-E-O for Urban Eagle. American Urban Eagle. For American Eagle Outfitters. And this one, which is orange, and it just has like a blue little bead on it. And the last thing I got from there was a tank top, which I may return. This is the front of it. And the back is this beautiful lace detailing. And the color is like a really, like, I don't even know how to explain the color of this. It's like pink in some shape or form, but not bright pink not even like any bright pink at all um, but I got it in a medium and it was $19.95 but yeah I may be returning it just because for school I can't like just wear this and they wouldn't be able to see the lace detailing in the back and that's pretty much the whole part of the outfit like what is it business in the front party in the back next I'm gonna move on to Ulta and I only got one thing from there for my rewards points. Here's my Ulta bag and the one thing that I got was this macadamia natural oil healing oil treatment but it's pretty much like just good for your hair and it's like really small um, but I got it for free with my rewards points and because like if you spend a hundred dollars then you get something um, but uh, it's originally $6.50 at Ulta. Next, I went to Bath & Body Works. And I just got two um, lotions because I had, like, free coupons for them. Um, the first one is in Pink Chiffon. And the other one's in Be Enchanted. And the last place I went to was Sephora. And I absolutely love Sephora. Um, and the lady was so nice. Oh, my gosh. I wish I would have gotten her name so I could, like, send in, like, a little good note for her or whatever because every time I go there they act like I'm just like a little kid and I'm like I'm a customer too but she was so nice to me and she gave me three samples of stuff um as you know I have like this little marker here you might not be able to see it because it's covered up a little bit but she gave me this Ole Henriksen truth serum um sample and it's not in here because I'm using it like every day and she gave me ain't misbehaving derma doctor scrub for that spot, which I haven't used yet. And the last thing I got was the Amazing Cosmetic Concealer um, sample in the color tan, which I'll probably be using. She said it was really good. So I got two things from here. First, I got the Makeup Forever Aqualette pencil in the color 2C. And Andrea's Choice swears by this. She said it will not come off at all. Um, and it's like the color of my lips, so it looks really natural, but it makes, like Andrea said, she's like, it's your natural lip color, but it's sexier, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. And then to go with that, I got a Booksum Lip, um, Big and Healthy Lips, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Big and Healthy Lip Polish. And it's in the color Danny. I already broke the top. I was just so hard to get this out, so it's like broken now. Um, but it looks like this. And this color is so pretty to me. It's like a purple, purpley pink color, but it's more purple. But it's still natural. I'm going to wear this over um, the lip pencil. And I love these lip glosses. They're my absolute favorite. So yeah, that was all I got. If you guys have any questions about anything or like want to review or I don't know about anything. Maybe I didn't say the price of something you wanted to know. Please um, leave that in the down in the comments below, not the down bar. Um, and if you have any requests, please, please leave those too. Please subscribe if you like this video and like this video and favorite it if you would like to. 
Um, so yeah, I'll be doing more videos for back to school soon, so look forward to those, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye!